So do you mind if I interview you real quick? Oh, okay. Be put on our, our website? So can you re- re- can we revisit the conversation we were just having about why you all walked out? Oh, it was uh, because we want to outsource our work out to other countries. And we're, we're the office clerk um, that does a paperwork here for the terminal. And, um, they want to go automated and have it outsourced so we don't we'll be out of a job. So we're been on a, uh, working without a contract for over a year, almost a year and a half since last year. Our contract was up, and they've been negotiating ever since. But it was down to the last two things, and the outsourcing our work is one of the main things that we don't want it to happen, and they wouldn't agree. So today at uh, around 11:30, they came and told us that you know, they broke the negotiation and they wouldn't agree to it. So so part of the work you all are doing is also being automated, like the yes. work in the ports as well? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, and that's not what we want. And so we're out, and because we go out in our longshoremen, they're different uh, local, they're local 13, and then their clerks are 63, 8, and, but uh, because we're all ILWU, Who's the CEO of Evergreen? The CEO of Evergreen will be because I know they're they're out of the but I'm not I'm not too familiar with them. You know, okay. So I uh, part of the effort of automating a system is so that you can have all robots do it for you and not have to pay people a yeah, decent amount and increase unemployment yes. and who cares because if you're the owner of a company and you're the shareholders yeah. you benefit and so it's uh, Adam Smith wrote about this he's you know considered our father father of economics and he wrote about a peculiar mercantile class and merchant class who um, had an interest in maintaining their own at the very in disregarding anyone else's interests yeah um, so it's it's not they're obviously people, but they're not people considering anyone else's benefit or no, not, the well-being of the economy, just their own peculiar existence. Yeah, and our economy is bad as it is, and then you know, they keep trying to take our not only our job. It's just bad that it has to come down to this, and everybody that has the money doesn't care. You know, they, everybody that as long as their money, as issues long as are attended to. They don't care about everybody else. Right, but what you hear in official uh, news is that it's automating a system is a good thing, um, but you only hear it from the perspective of the company, yeah. the corporation. You don't hear it from the perspective of the worker who are being thrown out. If, and the thing is, if you have unemployment and the wealth isn't redistributed, you can't act as a consumer, you can't continue to feed the economy, you have complete either a decline or a stagnation in the economy. Um, so no benefit will come of it, obviously. Okay. From yeah. Now. Hopefully it'll be over. You know, they'll, they'll know that. I mean, that everything stops. You know, everything out here stops. And the customers won't be happy, and you know, it's, it's gonna come down. It just trickles down, and. The, the longshoremen out there are the ones that you know keep it moving. I mean, we we're part of the where where it starts with the paperwork, and then they're the ones that you know out there having to move the cargo. But without them, it's really going to hurt yeah. them also. So hopefully, it'll resolve quickly. Right. And again, you're not going to have consumers to buy all these things coming yeah. up from overseas if they're if the unemployment rate continues to increase. That's right. Yeah. Not going to be have, nobody's going to have any money. Yeah. So there can be no demand, <laughs> yeah, because no one has any money. No. Um, how long have you been a, a clerk? Uh, eight years. Eight years. Yes. Okay. How many ILWU members does it take to uh, be effective? Uh, that working in our office. Yeah. Um, in our or just in our office, we have eleven. Eleven. Just in our office. But then there's the other terminals that, you know, they have their own uh, clerical employees. So what terminal have you shut down right now, Evergreen's terminal? Evergreen, this one, and um, Hanjin. Hanjin. Yangming, and YTI, 
as far as I know. So is some of it still functional, or well, it's all closed only, for the day so far? It's closed. The, all the uh, cargo, nothing can move. Nothing can move. Um, the uh, bosses are inside the building. Okay. So they do whatever they have to do. But th as far as cargo, nothing can move out. Nothing can come in. The gates are closed. Okay. And you'll be here as long as you have to be? Yes. Okay. Can they start it up in the middle of the night, say some of you leave? If, uh, no. Okay. No. No, well, we don't leave. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, yeah. We, work, yeah, we're, we're, we work in shifts. Um, at 5 o'clock, the people that are from our local that work at terminals that are still working, that because their contract was settled, um, they don't come out and help us, so we we'll change the shifts. Okay. And hopefully tomorrow I'll Nice. Okay. Thank you. What was All your right, name? Rosa. Rosa, nice to meet you. Thanks.